Yo, what is going on guys? Ice Cream here. Thanks for coming back to the channel. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys, it's actually three different things you can do with one glitch. This will be Tudo Facile Francis solo duplication glitch that happened to get unpatched with Tuesday's little update. But with this, you can do the solar car duplication. You can... Uh, get rid of special vehicles and facility vehicles that way if you guys are doing gift cards to friends and you happen to trade for one of those vehicles that's the only way it will go into the vehicle warehouse is if you don't own it so if you already own it and you trade for one of those vehicles it'll just be in an empty slot somewhere so this will be how to get that vehicle into its proper place and you can also use this to store vehicles in your special vehicle warehouse that isn't supposed to be in there. So if you wanted an APC in there or something, you could put an APC in your special vehicle warehouse. That way you can request it with no cooldown. So to start out, you guys are going to need to be in an invite only session. You're going to need a facility with an Avenger. If you're using this for the money glitch, you're going to need some free elegies to duplicate over. You're going to need the car you want to duplicate, which should be an elegy retro custom with a custom plate. You're going to need that in garage one at your CEO office. You will also need the mod shop in there as well. And if you're using this to overwrite special vehicles, you're obviously going to need a special vehicle. If you want to store other vehicles in there, it needs to be one you don't care about because it's going to overwrite it. And if you're trying to get rid of one, you're just going to need that vehicle. So what I'm doing, I'm getting rid of my Ruiner 2000. That way I can put a modded one inside of this special vehicle warehouse, which I can't do because I already own it. So to start out, if you're using it for the money glitch, you're going to go ahead and call out a free elegy. If you're using this to store a vehicle in the special vehicle warehouse, you're going to call out that special vehicle. Same thing goes for if you're trying to get rid of the special vehicle. So basically whatever car is sitting outside right now, which is my Ruiner 2000 at this moment, is going to get overwritten with a dupe. Okay. So like I said, if you're using it for the money glitch, have a free elegy sitting out here. If you want a car in your special vehicle warehouse, you're going to need a special vehicle that you don't care about losing out here. I'm doing this to get rid of the Ruiner 2000, but at the same time, the elegy retro is going to be able to get stored inside of the special vehicle warehouse because I'm duplicating that car over the Ruiner 2000. You're going to need a friend in a different targeting mode as well. So basically after you have the car that you want to duplicate over outside, you are going to go inside your facility. We're going to go to the back of the Avenger and go ahead and go inside. I'm trying, I'm going to try to explain this the easiest way possible. I don't want you guys to get confused because it is three different things in one. Once you're inside the Avenger, what I always do, press my PS button, go to the friend that is in the different targeting mode, you're going to select join game, or you're going to get to the join game screen. Then you double tap your PS button, come back to the game, then you're going to double tap again, go back to the join screen, and select join game. You're going to let it load the session details, that alert will pop up, just decline it. Basically what that does is, so the next time we do it, it pops up a lot quicker. Once you have done that, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to the cockpit door. Now from here, pretty easy. Seems how we already did that, so the alert pops up pretty quick. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and hit X to enter cockpit, double tap PS button, hit X to join game. You're going to accept the first alert and then just leave it on the second alert. You don't have to decline it. 
So right there I hit X and then I joined the friend, hit X on the first alert and then I'm staying on the second alert. Just stay on the second alert for about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds just go ahead and decline it. You should be in the middle of your facility. From this point what you're going to do, go ahead and press pause. You're going to have to push in on your interaction menu so it shows jobs. And you're going to select a job that is right outside of your CEO building. From here, we're going to go ahead and press square. Go ahead and press X to confirm it. Hopefully no one's already in it, so you can host it yourself. Once you're loaded in, we're going to join our friend again. So double tap your PS button, click join game. We're going to accept the first alert, decline the second alert. What that's going to do is teleport us to that job marker. Like so. Now from here, what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a street vehicle. There's really, you know, no warnings about this. It's just got to be able to be one that's storable. And all these cars, I guess I'll have to actually turn around. We are going to go ahead and pull it up to the garage of the CEO building. And like I said, make sure your retro is in garage one, otherwise you'll die when you spawn in. So pull it up, we're going to select garage one, go ahead and accept the garage full message, and then just sit there, don't press anything else. Now what's going to happen, it should just load us into that garage. So from this point, go ahead and get into your retro. And we're going to press right on the D-pad to go into the mod shop here. And we're just going to change something about the car. So... I don't know if I, I might have forgot to mention this. Make sure the retro has a custom plate on it. Because this does keep the plates. Once you have changed something, see how it says exit to garage zero? That's what we're going to go ahead and hit. We're going to exit to garage zero. Now once we get back out here, the car that was outside has now been overwritten. Okay, so now my Ruiner 2000 is technically an LG Retro. So, we're going to go ahead and jump out of the car. We're going to go ahead and go outside. And from here, basically when you overwrite the Ruiner 2000 or whatever special vehicle you're using, um, if you're planning on getting rid of it, it needs to be a car that you could sell. That's why I used a retro. Because that's how we're going to end up getting rid of it, is selling that retro off. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and call out my oppressor, so that way it returns that storage. Then I'm going to go ahead and return my oppressor. And I'm going to go ahead and request out my Ruiner 2000 to show you that that technically is now the retro. That retro is now stored inside of my special vehicle warehouse. So we're going to go ahead and press our interaction menu in. I don't know why I pulled up my phone. Go to vehicles. Request the Ruiner 2000. And when it shows up, it'll show up as the retro. Now, when you're doing this, like that's another thing. Uh, to get the car in there, it actually has to be a car that can go into the mod shop that you're duplicating first. Okay, so if you wanted an APC in your special vehicle warehouse, obviously you can't take that into your mod shop. So from here, like if you wanted a different vehicle in your special vehicle warehouse, what you would do is make sure whatever garage that vehicle is in, make sure it is full. Okay, so that way when we pull this car into it, it will have to switch a car 
over to the other garage, which is technically the special vehicle warehouse. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it into one of my CEO garages. I'll switch another car over just to show you that's how it's done. So, and that can be done at any point after this is already done. Okay, so once you already have a vehicle in there that's storable in a garage, you can switch any vehicle after that into your special vehicle warehouse as long as it's in a garage. So, I don't think I have really, yeah, I don't have any, like, weaponized vehicles in here. So, I'll just show you, um, I'll do those in Torno. I'll switch that over. So, whatever car you select right now is going to get switched over to your special vehicle warehouse. So, I'll go ahead and select the Zentorno. Go ahead and press X. And it'll ask if you're sure you want to switch the car over. Go ahead and press X again. And it will switch that vehicle over to the special vehicle warehouse. So now my retro is in here. And technically the Zentorno is now the Ruiner 2000. If you guys were just using this as a money glitch, what you would have done is after you, you just go ahead and take the retro that was sitting outside to a garage and you can start the glitch over. Right now I'm just showing you the other two parts, okay? The switching of the vehicles into the special vehicle warehouse and then finishing the getting rid of the special vehicle. That way your modded ones can go into there. So... What I'm going to have to do now, so I requested the Ruiner 2000, this is what showed up. So basically whatever car you switch out for that Ruiner 2000 special vehicle is going to be that car. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take this back into the garage. I'm going to switch it back with the retro that I started with. That way the retro is technically the Ruiner 2000 again. And to finish off that part of the glitch... What we're going to do is request it out again, and we're going to go sell that vehicle. So vehicles, Ruiner 2000, and the Retro is going to pop back up again, because that's what I just got done switching it with. And like I said, all we're going to do from here is go and sell it. And that will get rid of any special vehicle. And that works for facility vehicles as well. If you guys are trading for those vehicles, if you already own them, this is the only way you can get them into their proper slots. So we're going to go ahead and go to LSC. These will sell for more than normal. I think it goes for a million instead of... It's not much more. I mean, it's already worth like $960,000, but... Because it put the price of the Ruiner on top of this, so... But it can only go up to a million dollars. So we're going to go ahead and sell. And now I'll show you guys when I get back outside. My Ruiner 2000 slot is now grayed out. It is gone right there so there you go guys all three glitches I hope it was understandable I'm sorry the video was so long hope you enjoyed it drop a like subscribe if you are new and I hope you guys all have a good day oh by the way one last thing now that I'm on this pause screen to get the vehicles to transfer into the if you already owned them like if you already traded for that vehicle you just need to go to creator once or twice and it will automatically move over to the special vehicle warehouse or the facility that is it hope you guys have a good day man peace